Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB school. In this video, we are going to simulate the sensorless BLDC motor drive based on computation instance derived from line voltages. The same model is available for download in the link given in the description. If you want, you can use it. Let us get into the uh, model. The simulation is entirely based on this paper. This is the uh, model that I have simulated. I am using a six phase uh invert a six switch inverter uh, as you can see there is no hall sensors here uh, the position of the rotor is sensed with the help of a back emf generated by the rotor i mean uh, by the coils of the uh, main dc motor see here uh, we have the voltage divider circuits uh, so that the voltages can be measured um, and this is the logic behind the operation of uh, the motor here we have the uh, line voltages and the difference of line voltages are uh, computed uh, then the difference will is a difference of these two things will be compared using a comparator okay and uh, the output of comparator is given to the gates so these are the different uh, degrees of operations of build dc motor uh, as you can see uh, we have different voltages available at uh, different uh, uh, line voltages and the operation is based on this uh, here we have uh, uh, the line voltage and also we have the difference of line voltage so the crossing point of these two voltages will be the commutating point uh, this is the point where the commutation happens right so the output voltage waveform will be uh, looking like this and these are the different uh, commutating switches uh, outgoing switch incoming switches and these are the active switches right and these are the silent switches without any switching uh, we are going to incorporate all those things in the simulation model yes uh, this is the model and here we have the reference speed of 1000 rpm that is compared with the actual speed the difference of uh, actual speed and the reference speed is the error it is given as input to the PID controller the output of the PID controller is given as input to the PWM uh, generator block okay so based on the values of uh, uh, PID PID controller uh, the uh, pulse width of the uh, signal will get varied correspondingly right so this will be helpful in controlling the speed of the machine but to get to know the uh, details of the rotor position we need to measure the voltages okay so here we are measuring the voltages uh, and here we have the voltage uh, divider circuit or potential divider circuit and from there we are measuring the voltages and the output of this block is given to the given as input to the second block and the inputs are the back emfs of the phases a b and c uh, the line voltages are uh, uh, difference of line voltages are found here and again we are finding out the difference of line voltages okay and here we have the comparator block and uh, this is the place where comparison happens be, be, uh, between the voltages and finally we have the uh, gates okay and these gates are given as input to the uh, gate uh, terminals of the uh, switches to all the six switches right so uh, we are uh, getting the details of the rotor position as well as uh, the difference of speed so based on these two things we are uh, uh, switching the corresponding phases right and this is the motor model so these are the various parameters of uh, the build dc motor so the only difference between the pmsm and build dc motor is the back emf waveform if we give uh, trapezoidal back emf it becomes bldc motor 
and if you are giving sinusoidal input that becomes I mean, sinusoidal back emf it becomes pmsf so that's the only difference and here we have the mechanical input mechanical input in the form of torque okay let us uh, simulate the model so i am simulating the model for a duration of 0.5 seconds the model is running see here it is uh, settling exactly at uh, 1000 rpm right yes it is settling exactly at 1000 rpm let us uh, see the stator currents yes, uh, during the start of the motor we can see a, a small spike in current uh, that is the starting current okay also we can have a look at the torque right yes uh, the same model is available for download in the link given in the description if you want you can download it and you can use it for your academic or research purpose uh, thank you